Morning, duckies. That'll do you for now, won't it, dogs? Oh, no. Ever hopeful. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. So I have just finished off my morning doggy duties. I was actually supposed to get up a little bit earlier and walk them, but that'll uh that I'll have to do for now. Today is just going to be a regular vlog. I think we're going to have some training in there as well. We're heading over to Nottingham. Uh, we've got all sorts of stuff. It's going to be a good one. Drop it a like. Sit back, relax. Let's get it started. Over your body and over your soul. We're going to take back everything and lose it all. <laughs> oh my god. It was me thinking I left it tidy. Who am I kidding? <laughs> so the reason I'm here for one is because Charlotte has an interview. I have apparently a lot of stuff to still take home. And three, we want to go to the beach. Nottingham has this like massive, well not massive, has this beach in the city centre. Um, and it's literally my favourite thing. It's my favourite time of year. There's always something going on in Market Square. Always, 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 always. Always, right? If you guys have followed me for a while, you will know you will know that. Think back to the coach house days and all that kind of stuff. But after she's finished with the interview, we want to head into town and all that kind of stuff. We just we just want to have you know a good day. We, we've not had chance to to kind of do that yet, um, sort of throughout the holidays. So we want to head over. But first, we need to tackle all of this lot. <sighs> This is odd. I mean, I've shown you guys this mirror many times. There's been stuff there, stuff there. I mean, there's even less stuff there now. Like, this... It's... It's weird. But, unfortunately, this is all part of the process. Um, we all have to move out eventually. We all have to, you know, finish uni eventually and all that kind of stuff. It's just weird to me. Like, I was just... I just, I just spent five minutes just lying down here on the bed and I was like... Hmm looking around the room because I look, I look around like this and the ceiling seems extra high because normally there's a bunch of stuff there, bunch of stuff there and like even more clutter on the table. I know that looks ridiculous, but it's just weird. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll get used to it one day. But anyway, Charlotte's finished so we're gonna go pick her up. Change of plan, we were not feeling the beach. Um, well, the weather's just not as nice as we kind of expected it to be. It's warm, but the sun's not out. It's just a bit breezy. It's just, there are better days to go and do it. But we have come home to a package from Boohoo. So you guys have seen my fitness YouTuber t-shirt um, and people seem to actually love that on, on, on my social media. So I thought, why not get a couple more? Oh, these are going to be all creased and stuff, aren't they? Gone for one kind of retro your nan's curtains kind of t-shirt and one kind of you're on holiday and person wears it at the bar kind of t-shirt okay so let me just try this on okay it's not bad they ended up being about 12 pound each because they were 20 pound originally boohoo has 30 percent off because they're doing this whole thing with like rob lipset and joey d and all that kind of stuff so they've got like a promo sale anyway but there was a student discount of 40 percent which was 10 percent on more on top of that sale and so they ended up being £12 each, so I had to buy two. Which one do you guys prefer? I probably prefer the I'm um, working behind the bar on holiday t-shirt rather than the Nan's curtains, but they're both pretty cool. Nice light, airy t-shirts, which is a big deal for me because I get super hot, super freaking easily. And yeah, not bad for £12, hey. Next task of the day is to pick up 
a stopwatch. Tomorrow, it is tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow I have the next stage of that interview and so I have to take like a kind of class almost. Uh, well, yeah, not not almost a class. Like, I have to take a class, so, so I need some sort of stopwatch. Don't want to be getting my phone out. I'm just getting a cheap £10 one from Argos. And we're going to go to Costa, get some grub. Let's go. Now we will go back home today, eh? Until the very last hour. We still got a few more days to slay, eh? It's gonna get so much louder. This is it. The big day. Um, I had a 7am start. Well, I left it, sort of. I, I got up at about quarter past six, something like that. Uh, left, sort of, quarter past seven. And it is now eight o'clock. And I'm here, well, eight, 12 minutes past eight. I've been sat in the car for a few minutes. I have to be on the gym floor by 8.30 and doing a class by nine. I mean, I was kind of expecting, I'm not always the best at getting up. Um, but I'm normally okay with important days, so, you know, body power, my birthday, and today. I even wanted to save time that badly in the morning that I undid my shoelaces the night before because they can be a ball ache, so I undid them the night before. No shame, right? I prepped all my clothes, I had everything ready, ready to go and show them what they're missing. So, uh, I'm gonna get changed into my emblem tee because it's nice and smart and nice and clean, and, yeah, that's that. Let's do this. Okay, guys. Right, update. Let me just put my wristbands back on. I take them off for interviews and stuff like that, and I'll probably take them off when I'm at work, because like, I like them, but they don't look very professional, do they? And at the end of the day, this is a nice, sophisticated, professional place. You know, so, long story short, had to do a class uh, that took 20 minutes. Um, a grand total of four people turned up. Um, but there was only gonna be two and then they grabbed someone from the gym um, and yeah it, it went really really well I was really happy with how it went had a little chat with them at the end about sort of hours and stuff like that uh, when I'm available I was just like all the time and that's that really sort of I've got to just wait until the end of the day um, well maybe not the end of the day maybe like lunchtime something like that they just said later today so um, we'll have to see but for now let's head home <laughs> Hi, Tookies! It literally just runs straight away to get their toys. Go on then, where's your toy? Where are they? Go find them! You're like, huh? I can't find any. Have you guys seen this thing, by the way, about um, Usain Bolt? You know the sprinter, like everyone knows who Usain Bolt is. I actually, funny story. I'm putting you in a cupboard right now, and the cupboard closed. Anyway, funny story. Well, not really funny story. Just a quick story time with Liam. I actually saw Usain Bolt win the 200 meter gold medal at London, um, and just there was it was absolutely mental. There was 80,000 people just going Usain, Usain, Usain. Anyway, the story that I've seen today is that he is signing for an Australian league side, which means that it would put him on FIFA 19. How cool is that? Like, I've seen that guy in person and like, he's not a footballer, he's fancied himself as a footballer for years. Like, wanted to know your guys' thoughts. Have you seen Usain Bolt? Do you give a crap about who he is? If so, will he make a good footballer? Hmm. Only time will tell. So I have just finished up some lunch and have been editing today's video. Oh, look at that, Liam, you gorgeous boy. I've kind of just been sat here for about an hour. I kind of put some sort of documentary type thing on, edited and at my lunch all at the same time. Sat right next to my phone. They said later today, it's now like half past one. Um, and I just know that the phone call is gonna come, whether it's like good news or bad news. I just know the phone call is gonna come when I'm either on the phone, when I'm driving, or you know, the stereotypical when you're on the toilet. You know like when you're waiting for something from the postman and then the postman comes as soon as your friggin bum hits that toilet seat. That's exactly what's gonna happen. I am gonna be doing something like... No. I'm gonna be doing something like that when the phone call comes. That's assuming it's gonna be a phone call. That's what they said, I think. But... I don't know. I hope I get it. Hello. So today has been a productive day, it's been a big day, big productive 
important day. Um, and the next video you guys see will also be a very big day. Graduation. I'm so happy and so sad all at the same time because of graduation. Because it's like the full, that's it, you're done, you are finished, <laughs> complete, <laughs> kaput, done. <laughs> it's a difficult one, but I'm looking forward to showing you guys everything. I say that all the time, but I literally do show you guys everything. I mean, as much as I possibly can anyway. So, you know, it's sort of within reason. But um, the next video you guys will see will be graduation, as I say. So drop it a like and a comment down below if you are excited for that new series on the horizon as well. Today has not only been a big day, a productive day, but a good one too. You know why? Because I got the job. I think. I'll explain later.